Hello everyone, it's Kelsey AK Real with Mrs. B and I'm back with another awesome collab and this one is 10 things I won't do to save money. Now there are plenty of things that people do to save money in odd ways which is fantastic for them but there are some things that I just will not do. Uh, we are doing a fantastic job of putting like 40% of our total income towards debt each month and I'm really excited about that. Um, however, there's just certain things I won't give up or do. So let's go through my list of 10 items. So number one is there are certain products that I just will not skimp on. That includes toilet paper, paper towel, makeup, hair products, my cat's food, and I also will not skimp on like nutrition or nutritional food, as in I will not eat ramen every single day, despite how cheap it actually is. Now my husband, he probably could eat ramen every day. I mean, he does for most lunches just because it's cheap and easy to make, but um, I will not do that. I like making homemade meals and... Um, those other products I just don't want to skimp on. Um, I want my cats to live a very long time, so I buy expensive food for them that's healthy, no byproducts. And then toilet paper, paper towel, I like um, more than apply. <laughs> um, and maybe that's saving money too, because if you have one ply, I mean, you have to use a way lot more um, to make sure everything's good. So those are things, I just products I will not skip on. Number two is I will not get rid of my cats. That is something that I've heard getting rid of pets, like they cost things. Yes, they do, but they are so worth it to me. We had our cats well before we started this, this Dave Ramsey plan. And uh, yes, they do cost some money uh, for you know food and litter and things like that but it is so worth it. I love them so much and I would never give them up. All right, number three is buy things, use them and return them or buy something that you already have that may have broken and then putting the broken item in the box and returning it. This may seem, seem really specific, but I personally know someone that does this and I just think it is so wrong Yes, it saves money and um, things happen, but there's no reason that, that this is a form of stealing, really. I mean, I would never steal uh, to save money, and you shouldn't buy things and return something that's broken. That's just wrong. All right, number four is I will not not tip. <laughs> if I choose to go out to a restaurant, that server deserves a tip. And um, if I don't want to tip, then I can take my food home. That's just how it works. I worked as a server for a little while and it's hard business and they work really hard for tips. And um, even if they do a bad service, um, you know, I'll, I'll leave a lower tip, but I'm going to tip. So you should too. <laughs> Number five is I will not give up our second car. We have two cars. They are paid for. Um, they are not awesome cars, but they get us from point A to point B. Yes, we could save some money to sell one of them, but it would be a huge hassle then getting to work and all. And um, we could save money on uh, you know, insurance and all, but it's just not worth it. I'm not going to give up a second car. All right, number six is I will not not give gifts. Uh, we save for that. We save for Christmas. We have a sinking fund for gifts throughout the year for other holidays and birthdays. And we don't have to go spend out a, a fortune on gifts. But uh, that is something that's still very important uh, to give, even if it's in, in small amounts right now while we're getting out of debt. But um, I still think that's really important. Number seven is I will not not have insurance which includes auto insurance, health insurance, dental insurance, and most important that we realized recently is renter's insurance. I must have all of those. It, yes, it costs a lot every month, but if something went wrong, those are going to come in handy. and We are, are going to be in a world of pain if we don't have those. Uh, which we realized with not having, my cat is running around really crazy. <laughs> um, 
if we we didn't have renter's insurance and it really sucked. Um, so it is really important to have those things just in case. So I will not give up insurance. Can you hear her? She's like running around. I don't even know what she's running after. <laughs> anyway, um, number eight is I will not not do uh, car insurance or I mean car maintenance or health or dental checkups or not do sinking funds. Um, yes, it could save money like not going to do maintenance or going to the doctor and all that paying co-pays. Uh, but again, it goes along the same lines as my number seven with the insurance is by doing those checkups and maintenance and things like that, uh, we are actually saving us money in the long run. So it is important to do those. And then the sinking funds, we could put aside, you know, another probably $300 a month into debt if we didn't have sinking funds. But it really gives yourself like peace of mind having that money put aside in case something arises. Uh, so sinking funds are very important. All right, number nine is I will not not have internet or phones. I don't know how people could do it without internet. I understand you could go to the library or Starbucks or wherever to work, but as a teacher, I use my internet all the time for entertainment purposes. Uh, we use the internet for Netflix and my husband with gaming, and obviously with YouTube, I use the internet, and with our phones, not only for emergencies, but that's an entertainment purpose as well, and, um, you know, loads of reasons, but I will not give up either one of those. It does cost us between the two almost $200 a month, but I do find it very, very much worth it. And lastly, number 10, I will not give up personal spending money. We give ourselves about $50 a month, as long as my husband doesn't go over, <laughs> but, um, it is really important to have something to enjoy each month. You can't just cut out everything. Um, that's going to make things very difficult. I, I get the whole in gazelle intense mode. Um, I feel like we are doing a very good job of paying off debt, but um, it would be a lot harder if we had to give up like every enjoyable item. So at least if we have a little bit of money each month, um, we don't feel so confined. Um, and it's really nice. So, all right, those are the 10 things I chose that I just will not give up to save money. Um, I'm going to list all of the collaborators down below, so please go check out their videos. And I would love to hear from you guys to see what are some things that you will not give up to save money while you're getting out of debt or working at Baby Step 3 or wherever you are in the Baby Steps. Let me know them below. And as always, please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I will catch you all soon in my next video. Bye.